Hi, I'm Nate with Average Jack Archery Pro Shop and Range here in Phillipsburg, PA. Super exciting. We get a sneak peek today of the new bear bows that are launching for bear archery. We got Mike Scott. He's my local rep here uh, for the Pennsylvania area. And Mike's brought in a bunch of great bows here that bear's launching for 2023. And I'm really excited about what you guys have to offer. We're going to kind of work our way through the table, talk about what's new, uh, what we've brought from the old systems, and uh, just kind of work through our lineup today. So why don't we just start with what's what's right here in front of you and we're just kind of work our way down the table. Yeah. Um, so the first one here is the uh, upgrade to the Alaskan, which is a really high-end yep. seller that we had in the Alaskan XT. So the Alaskan XT um, still carries the Alaskan name, a lot different in a few ways. 33 inch axle to axle instead of 32 from last year. Um, new roller guard, new integration with accessories. Um, same thing for the rest on the backside. Um, 335 six and a quarter inch brace height. Um, one thing about Bear, we freshen up things, we keep making things better. Alaskan XT, definitely a nice step up from the Alaskan. Still has that butter smooth draw. I kind of think it's a perfect medium. Draws like butter, holds extremely well, but yet doesn't, uh, the speeds are still real good. 335 IBO. Very, and what the Alaskan was a great seller for us this past year, 2023. What's cool also, Mike, hold that bow back up yep. again is Bear has offered, even in their mid-price, their meat potato series, the riser is now a bridge riser, both top and bottom. We see that on Correct. flagship level bows. Um, I'll do some B-roll of me shooting it for sure, uh, but the dead in the hand feel from this mid meat potatoes of Bear is through the roof, in my opinion, for what it was last year. It was not bad on their older bows and their older riser systems, but it's really been a great step up for Bear this year. The Alaskan XT has it, the Paradigm, a couple other bows we have down here uh, on the table, so something that's been brought in. Also, that integrate. You know, we have an integrate whisker basket. We have a Picatinny style sight here, but um, any your integrate sight or rest rather will fit on that. Um, so that's your uh, your R2 from QAD. That's um, your Hamsky Epsilon style systems will go in the back end there. So that's a really nice thousand, twelve hundred dollar, thirteen hundred dollar flagship bow feature on something that's in the six hundred dollar price range. So let's move over to uh, the next guy here, the yep. Whitetail Max. Whitetail Max. So. Here you're getting our highest technology with our EcoCam. So you can achieve 75, 80, 85, and even 90% let off. Um, you're at uh, 31 inch axle to axle, um, 340 IBO with six and a quarter inch brace height. Um, great bow, great bow. At a great price too. You know, this is under $700 in a package, you know, 600 for a bear bow, but you're getting the performance, the same technology as we put in our highest end bow. Yeah, so you've got adjustable let off, which is something you don't see usually until you get to you know that thousand dollar price range. Uh, this is a three track binary system where the Alaskan sticks to a hybrid cam system that it's been Correct. known for. So we have a, we have two totally different systems there, a little bit different platform. Um, you can still integrate the bear paw grip on all the bows, um, so you can shoot it off the riser. So again, a lot of great modularity to it, uh, and that's going to be a killer whitetail rig, out west rig. It's nice and compact enough for it, um, and the mass weight of it's fantastic. Uh, moving up from that is what I'm going to consider the big guy bow, uh, and that's going to be in the new Paradigm. Yep. So this is a new Paradigm. Um, this bow here, again, um, this isn't our main line. This is a deal. Uh, anytime you see a Legend series, that's dealer only. Um, main line can be sold across other venues and things, but this is the Paradigm. Um, you're looking at 33 inch axle to axle. Um, six and a quarter brace height at 333. Um, real smooth, great back wall, 80% um, let off. Um, again, great price point bow, coming in with a lot of good features. Um, just more of a selection, more stuff to choose from. Yeah, and one thing I neglected to mention, it's also on the um, on the Alaskan XTs. We have an adjustable uh, slide here, so we can actually yep. loosen the screw in the back and we can pivot this rod, uh, rotate it around clockwise to even increase fletching clearance. 
Um, so if we need that, you know, shoot a high profile vein like the DCA Sabre or even a Blazer, or if you want to bring it in closer and shoot like a heat vein or something like that, real low profile, you can definitely do that. Also, this bow goes out to 32 inches of draw length. So as a 31 inch shooter or a big long draw guys that are looking for a higher performance bow that does not break the bank, and this is not a $1,200 bow, uh, it's going to go out to that 32 inches of draw length. And all these bows are in that uh, either 45, 60 or 55, 70. Correct. Peak range, yeah. Correct. So a lot of performance out of that uh, and a lot of really great stuff out of that typical weight range that Bear offers. And actually six and a half inch brace, 333. Yeah. This surpasses actually a six and a quarter. Yeah. So let's flip sides here yep. so Mike can uh, do the other side. Next one, this is... This is the Surpass. So the Surpass, um, you're getting up into uh, our higher grade. Little, If you take some time really look at it, you can see the riser. It takes a little more time rolling it and things. It's finished a little better, um, but a great bow. Six and a half inch brace height, shooting 340 feet per second, so super fast. Um, actually, as fast as any bow in the market. But again, you're, you're, the, the price on retail, you know, you're below $800 on a bow like this. But it'll perform as good as any speed bow on the market. But a great bow. We've, uh, this one has two grip options. So you have a straight flat back grip, or you could have, uh, if you're an old PSC or a Hoyt shooter, you know the swale in the grip that gives a little more belly, a little more meat. Both of those come with the bow. They're not an upgrade, so they're, they're right there with it. Um, this bow is a hybrid cam system, but the one thing that's really nice that Bear started to do with their bows is they put the draw lengths right on the cam, on the same side as the screws. Um, and that's a, as someone who's a dealer or if you're working on your bow at home, you don't have to read A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You go 28, 28 and a half, whatever it may be, a couple of Allen keys, and yep. you're off and running trying a different draw length. So very easy and simple to work on. And one thing that goes across all my bows is everything you need to do what it does as far as draw lengths is integrated into that cam. You don't need additional parts. You know, you buy a bow and five years from now you want to pass it down to a nephew or, or a son or whatever. Um, everything you need to achieve what it says it will do, 31 to 27 or whatever in draw length, it is built into that cam, no additional parts needed. Here we have our Persist. This is our flagship bow for 2024. Um, 31 inch axle axle, six and a half inch brace height, shooting 340 IBO. Um, very, very nice bow, a lot of cool integration. Um, we have an integrated wrist sling, um, a new string stop, um, much better than before. The new roller guard that we brought out last year on the Execute, same thing you see here. Um, this is new. Um, this can be a bow hanger. It can be a pull-up rope. You know, when you think about, I know we've all done it, you snag your bow on a little bit of a limb and you got all that weight into this cam and it's metal hitting metal if it's a metal clip it's making noise you're fighting it and you get a little scared like is this going to break or come undone when you latch onto that it pulls it straight up um, keeps it balanced instead of it getting off off canner a little bit and just a cool integrated new option that you'll see with the uh, persist now and also it has on the shelf this year the rubberized shelf to it um, so you don't have to add felt you know yep. it looks very intentional looks very normal um, also this is sporting the new limb driven rest from trophy it ridge is. yep so that's something that's the integrate uh, model there they also will sell it on a bolt-on option price point on that is fantastic i think it's 99.99 99, 99. 99. yep really good i'm really interested to play with that um, you know, there's a lot of great push recently for limb driven style rest, Hamsky, Vapor Trail kind of dominated that market. I'm really interested to see on that. Nice little short launcher angle, so it doesn't have to have a whole bunch of bells and whistles to it. Um, I, I'm, like I said, I'm very interested to, to play with that overall. So I wanted to put the bows down and have Mike talk about some of the accessories the Bear is offering, or Trophy Ridge rather is offering the sister company. Um, this was something not new for 2024, but rather for 2023? Or was it Correct. 2022 even? No, 2023. 23. Um, and it's the uh, Digital React, uh, which is really slick technology. I want Mike to kind of play through some bells and whistles with it. Yep. So we make a Digital React, we make it in a three pin. We also make it in a one pin. One pin, you have the option of 10 thousandths or a 19 thousandths pin. When you get it in a three pin, you have a stacked version and they all come this way, 19, 19, your last pin is 10,000. So the second, so it has a, a built-in 44 hour continuous runtime battery. Um, the second you touch the power, it instantly powers up. Right now it's set on 67. 
Obviously, you're running all the way to the top. You're at 40. Your last pin on the three pin is the floater. Um, you can actually program this to do whole yard increments, I mean half yard increments or whole yard increments. Um, you range something that's 47.5 yards. You can get this to go to actually 47.5 if you do the half yard increments as well. Um, Nate was saying earlier, when you hit a whole yard increment, you'll see it go to a solid color. Um, you can choose up to three different colors. You can choose up to, I'm sorry, up to five different colors, three intensities to the color. Um, one common mistake a lot of guys use uh, do with a slider is they go in the backyard and the day before they're shooting, you know, 60 yards and then they go out to shoot and they're at 20 and they shoot an arrow clean over the target. It's happened to us, well, it's happened to me more than once. When you turn this on, the second you do turn it on, I'll turn it off. You gotta hold a few seconds for it to go to off. But the second you touch it, boom, fires up. But you, you can see that and it tells you exactly where you're at. So you never make that mistake. Um, we're all, a lot of hunters are getting older. I will say in a low light situation, you're trying to look at your slider, adjust yardage and things. You'll never have to do that again. You can actually hold your bow and barely look at it and dial right through all different settings. Pretty slick, pretty now, slick. Some people have the question, okay, what about that 44 hour battery yep. runs out? Well, if it runs out, that. yep. On the back side, you can run a physical tape right here and you can have your marks or your tape printed out and gosh forbid your battery runs out or you forgot to recharge it, um, you'll have a physical deal right there. It is micro windage elevation, second, third access, pretty, pretty techy. Uh, yeah. little so adjustable, you know, adjustable pin so you can finite tune that exact yardage, you know, if you're running a positive stop or something like that. A lot of bells and whistles have gone into this. The price point reflects that, but it's in that same, it's, it's punching in the same category as other sites in this price point with yep. a lot of extra bells and whistles, in particular those with bad vision, or if you want that stack pin look, that yep. three pin slider, it's very common. The three pin slider is one of the highest selling uh, styles of sites in my shop nowadays. And this is right along there with it, with everything you could possibly need. We did do something new last year. I'll, I'll hit on real quick too. We make a universal head mount kit. You can take and any of our single pin sites, if you like an ultra view or you like a CBE or you like some, some head that you've been shooting, uh, you can mount a, a another brand's head on our single pin sites, which is pretty cool. Right, it has an adapter that takes that 10 by 32 rod or 10. So that's not something very common at all from many manufacturers sure. that offer an interchangeable block mount like that. And I think the price point on it is not outlandish either. No, um, it's, it's $29.99. Yeah, I mean, you can't, yeah. and, and then, so then you have this scope, you can then mount your 3D scope, then you can run this on a target bow for during that time, indoor spots, slap your hunting site on there, and you don't have to go and invest in three or four different bars to accept those scopes, it can come right on with yeah. one. And one of the new things is all the integrated, you know, from the bridge lock system with uh, Matthews and the uh, Picatinny with Hoyt and things. And obviously we're starting to follow suit a little bit. And we make uh, a kit for either one that any of our sites can fit those uh, those applications, so it's pretty cool. Make it in the top mount, like this one is, or Correct. a front mount, if on um, some yeah, of those. Yeah, if it's a whole yeah, yeah. yeah, so it can be it can be done either way. And then the bridge lock, too. Yeah, that's something new. Lock. That's something that's been that's been huge, just having a bridge lock site at a good price point, and Baird Trophy Ridge has started to offer that this year. We also make um, three new sites. Uh, the series is called the Swift Series. We make a single, a duo, and a, and a, and a trio, and, uh, one thing that's cool about this is it's all aluminum construction. It's our three click light. Uh, the three click light, real simple, comes on, the, you know, barely anything. Twos, somewhere in between, threes. Uh, even though it don't seem that bright, it's brighter than you'd ever need it when you're, when you're using it in that application. But um, single, two, and a trio. The trio will be a stack pin. It'll be 19, 19, and a 10 thousandths, your last pin. But it is a slider style site, does come with a whole host of uh, tapes. Uh, it actually comes with a pretty thick little pack of all the tapes you would ever need yeah. for them, um, but pretty slick. Very similar body construction uh, and build construction to the React. Very similar in, cool. in, in its, in its very, it's not cheap. <laughs> it's not a cheap plastic no. site. Uh, very similar body to it. 
Oh yeah, here we have. Yeah, here it is mounted on yeah. this. So it, it you get your dial out here. And, yeah. yeah, it's it's just a, it's a well thought out site from beginning to end, uh, and I'm very excited to see this part of Ridge's lineup this year. Yep. And then from there we have two other slider sites, a little more price point oriented, but 100% aluminum construction. One's an Attack Pro, one's a regular Attack. The difference between the two, the Pro has all the micro uh, windage and elevation. You're up, down, you're left, right. It's built into the site. Um, comes with your tapes and things to do anything. Also comes with a bridge to get it away so you can still mount all your quivers that whichever, whichever brand you like. Hopefully you like Trophy Ridge. Um, it does have the quiver bracket to get it out away from the site. But um, the Attack Pro, micro, regular Attack, 100% aluminum construction, comes with a light. A lot of the same features but just a gang adjustment. So. And an adjustable pin. Yes, yeah, so it does something a little unique. Um, we do have another site called a drive that does this that nobody really knows too much about. But you can take, um, here's your pin configurations, but you can actually take your pin and move it. If you're like a pin coming in at an angle or coming in from here, uh, you can adjust it that way. I personally like it from here. I can see the, the, the back of a deer. I can see the belly of the deer. And for some reason, it just, when it's coming in on this angle, I don't concentrate on the pin, just the, the pin itself or the, the, the color itself, instead of the pin taking away from my view of sight and stuff. Yeah. But pretty cool. Gives you some nice options. All right. Well, that's the new bear lineup for 2023. Launching here in October. I want to thank Mike for coming out and showing us the bows. Uh, if you're in the central Pennsylvania area and you want to call Average Jack Archery Pro Shop and Range here in Phillipsburg, PA, uh, your local bear dealer will be happy to see. We will definitely be having these bows in stock here uh, this October and through the rest of the fall. And then uh, obviously as we uh, get into the winter time, you know, of course, never a bad stocking stuffer. No, bear, but, you know, no. You might need a bigger stocking, but it's no. in there just fine. Uh, so yeah, definitely come check us out. If you need more information, you can always uh, check out beararchery.com. Yeah. Uh, you can always send us an email, averagecheckarchery.gmail.com. But Mike, I want to thank you again for coming out. And no, any I other words of wisdom for the people on the YouTube scene? Well, I've never seen an upset husband that got a good gift certificate from a from a good pro shop. I really haven't. There you go. I've never yeah. seen him get mad about that ever. <laughs> so. um, I will say one other thing. You know, be safe out there this year. Um, you know, treat uh, the people in the woods with a little respect, uh, be kind to your neighbors, and good luck. Find that mark and get her done, baby. Go whack a big one. That's Thanks, right. everybody. <laughs> BBD. Yeah. <laughs>